must save her. My daughter. How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you today as always. I hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. Uh, we're going to be continuing the Champion Mifa questline here and uh, a couple other things that I have planned for today's video. So let's take a look at the adventure log. So we're going to start it out by going to the Divine Beast Varuta and fighting the boss there. That'll be eh, probably... Interesting. <laughs> I'll probably die. <laughs> After that, instead of doing the EX Champions Ballad right away, I want to actually finish up the last shrine quest that we have, which is the ceremonial song. Something about a gift from the sky, a scale of light splits the feet of a veiled fall sight. Y your trial awaits its glowing bright. Something about that. Um... And then after we figure out that, I was actually looking at the map with the hero's path. So the green line is everywhere I've actually walked in this playthrough. And I notice in my favorite region, which is down in this uh, southeast area. I love this area. Um, there's a place, Mount Floria. I put a star on it. And as you can see, I've never been anywhere around Mount Floria. So I kind of wanted to just... End this episode by exploring a little bit, if we have the time. So, without further ado, guys, let's get started. I'm not even going to mess with these monsters over there, but I do see a chest down there at the bottom of the waterfall. I kind of want to check that out. And I also see something interesting down here. Let's just see what this is. Just a cooking pot. Not a big deal. Alright, so... Speaking of cooking pot, before we fight the Divine Beast, I'm probably going to want to... Yeah, I'm going to eat one of these attack up boosts or whatever, but... Let's go get this treasure chest. What is this? Oh, there's a frog in there. Hey! <laughs> we got the froggy. Another frog. Another frog. Got him. Urbosa's fury is ready. Good, Urbosa. We're going to need you. Oh, five arrows. Lovely. Uh, let's get that chest out of the water before it starts to uh, rust, you know what I mean? Alright, so all we really need to do is head over to Divine Beast Varuta to get this party started. I'm going to eat some kind of meal that ups my attack. I don't think I really need anything else. The, the biggest problem that I've noticed with these Divine Beast trials boss fights these memory boss um the the regenerating of their health if you don't constantly be attacking them they will regenerate all of their health pretty much and it just really really um is bad because we don't have like any weapons hardly to fight them with you know what i mean normally it's fine i i have so many weapons you know what i mean i can just go to the next and keep going not so much in these trials. You usually only get one or two weapons. And once they break, you're... <laughs> well, you're going to have to use bombs, I guess. Alright, so... <clears throat> let's see. Do I have one that will last longer than four minutes? I guess not. That's as long as it goes. So, let's just eat that. Get our attack boost. We got Urbosa's Fury times three. We got Daruk's Protection times three. We got Mifa's Grace. So, all that combined, we should be ready. We should be good. To the one who approaches this divine beast, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Aruta's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Take the emblems, we did those challenges easy peasy. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Yeah. That's what you said about the last three. And we 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 destroyed them. You know what? I'm just going to skip that part. He talks too much. Wish me luck, guys. This one is uh, kind of an annoying boss, if I remember. Because I'm pretty sure in the second phase of the fight, he like raises the water level 
so there's only a few platforms and water in the middle and it makes it hard to get to him when he falls down. Hopefully I'll be able to build like some Cryonis uh, and just hop around. This illusionary realm was created from the depths of your memories. So this was actually the first Divine Beast I ever did when I very first played through this game the first time. I'll never forget this fight. It was just epic seeing this kind of boss. They did a good job in this game making the bosses look awesome and like frighteningly deadly, you know? Some of the bosses in uh, some of the other games, Zelda games, are not, not even like, cool looking, you know what I mean? Some, most of them are. But there's a few that, that I'm thinking of that just look terrible. Alright. He's all bark and no bite. Don't worry about it, guys. So, let's see what we have. We got full Zora armor here, obviously. We got a light skill trident and two ceremonials. I'm pretty sure the ceremonials are like fake and they will break easily. So, we don't have a lot of options for that. Only 10 arrows. Wow, so that's our that's all of our Okay, I'm gonna have to use good thing we did the attack up guys cuz wow Oh First attack is a perfect flurry rush. Let's go Let's oh. use her both done. Straight to phase two baby <laughs> Okay, but this is where it gets really hard I can't believe I, I owned his phase one that fast. If you have a Brosa's Fury and the attack up, one flurry rush. Okay, but now now this is okay. This Yep, he raised the water. This is going to be annoying, guys. Let's uh, put like that in the middle. Oh, that's, cu that's cute. Are you shooting those things at me? And now you're regenerating. I, I got to keep the, uh, the attacks up. Bro, you're breaking my my platform. I'm not breaking your platform, so why are you doing this to me? Let me get up on this. And he's regenerating again. Stop doing that. Oh boy. That's not gonna work for us. I do not want him regenerating. What are you going to do? You, oh, that's cute. You know what? Here's what I think of this. Why don't you hold on to that for me? Okay, it literally went through my ice and still hit him. That's amazing. That did some good damage. I'm just gonna build a few of these so we have options. Oh gosh, that, that was bad. That was bad. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. What's happening? Oh. You can just calm down. Whoa! He, he threw a spear at me. That was crazy. And now he's regenerating again. The bow is only good for stopping the regen, for real. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, that was fine. Stop the regen. I'm trying to like quickly get over to him at the same time and it's like not super easy to do switch weapons oh he takes so long sometimes all right we're doing all right what are you gonna do 
Stop it. Oh, you gonna do a you gonna do a sweep? That's cute. You regenerating? No, 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 no. Stop it. Miss me. Uh, stop regenerating, you dummy. I only got one more arrow. How do I, like, get to him? He's... I'm just gonna bomb you if that's... My, my best option sometimes is just to use the bombs. I don't like him regenerating so much health. Okay, here we go, here we go. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, that did some damage. The problem is he keeps regenerating, so that's gonna continue to be a problem. Yes, do the ice block thing again, please. No, oh, my power was too slow to come out, now he's regenerating so Oh my goodness. Well, the good news is, guys, Urbosa's Fury is regenerating as well, so... That's actually gonna probably be the way we kill this guy. Because it's looking like he's just gonna regenerate faster than we can actually kill him. This is Master Mode, by the way. Did I mention that? Yeah, keep, keep doing this. I actually like it when you do this. I'm pretty sure they automatically aim it like right at him, which is useful, but Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, he's so close. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I didn't want to go right under him. It's bad. It's bad. I thought I could get under him and just finish him off. That was a terrible idea. And now he's regenerating so much health. Oh god. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get hit. Nope. Daruk got my back. Though I am dying. Oh my gosh, this boss fight is so bad. The good news, guys, we have Urbosa's Fury coming up very soon. Do it again. Do it again. I don't even care that you're regenerating. I have Urbosa. She is almost ready to finish you, bro. I hope you're ready for it. don't need her bossa. Oh my goodness, he's always one hit. Just die. <laughs> Yo, we killed him with a bomb. Let's go. I killed him with a bomb. Uh, he was so hard, man. The second Dude, the first phase lasted just a few seconds but phase two lasted so long because of the regenerating health but we did it we did it basically you just gotta survive long enough until you get urbosa's fury again <laughs> which we almost did 
because we have the uh, Obrosis Fury Plus. It recharges very quickly. If you don't have the Plus, it's not going to recharge in time. I mean, you'd have to survive a long time. But with the Plus, you could you can theoretically use it twice pretty easily. All right, guys. Let's see Mifa's mm. cutscene. This is going to be awesome. Are you still adrift in thought? You seem lost to the whims of your mind. Oh, pardon me. I suppose it's none of my business. Mm. Mm. All right, let's hear your new and improved song. Mm. I've written a song to try and capture the eff essence of Champion Mipha. Recall the champion of Ruta's wrath before she walked her chosen path. Mipha's kindness was known to all. Which is why the princess came to call. It's also why what led to her ultimate fall. All right, cool. Let's see it. Got to take a sip of coffee. So princess, may I ask who the other chosen champions are? Goron Vigilance, Daruk. Rito Confidence, Rivali, Gerudo Spirit, Urbosa, and also the Hylian with the sword that seals the darkness. <gasps> Link. Oh. Love triangle. Swim up here. Mifa, perhaps he is still too young to swim up this big waterfall. One day, princess, I must leave him to face my fate with Ruta. Awesome! on you to protect our beloved home from harm understood way to put so much weight and responsibility on a child I believe in you how about now, shall we try one more time how about you just don't die Mifa <laughs> the <laughs> smile <laughs> <laughs> apparently they, they didn't get a voice actor for a young side <laughs> That was all right. Wasn't, it didn't make Mifa as like amazing as it showed the other legends to be, mm. unfortunately. All the other cutscenes that showed the three champions like just being amazing in combat or whatever. Mifa, it shows her just like going up and down a waterfall like normal. Not even like that impressively. <sighs> they did Mifa dirty. But I still love Mifa. How can you not? Oh. All right, Cass. Well, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Um, You're I have so strong, so much stronger than before. The power of Mipha's grace will now recharge much faster. Oh, I'm way stronger than before. You don't even know. As powerful as you are, I am certain you can save Hyrule, as well as the princess who awaits you. Don't be jealous. <laughs> You'll always be my best friend, Mifa. Keyword friend. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! I am Kaz. Maz Koshia, I must command you for, commend you for conquering the trials. 
The door to the final trial is now open at the Shrine of Resurrection. Go and face destiny. This is actually the final, like, dungeon other than Hyrule Castle. Yep, I know where I know where the Shrine of Resurrection is. Okay. Um, but like I said, uh, we're gonna save that for the next episode. Episode ninety nine will be the Shrine of Resurrection and the. Urbosa's fury is ready. Thanks, Urbosa. Could have used that a few minutes ago. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I do want to do this quest. Like I said, uh, if we have time, and we do have time, so. Um, let's see. It says Trello accidentally dropped the ceremonial trident used in the champion ceremony off the bridge. If you find the spear and recreate the actions from the song, a new trial may open. All right. So we need to find the spear. He dropped off the bridge. I actually remember where I talked to him. He was like up here. So let's set a marker. Let's do the purple or pink. And actually, shall we... Uh, I guess I don't really want to warp to Zora's domain. I always do that. Let's warp just outside and then we'll run there real quick and see if we can get this trident. Uh, and then I'm not really sure which waterfall. I'm I'm pretty sure we have to jump off a waterfall with the trident and like slam it into the ground. If we do it in the right place at the right time, perhaps uh, it will summon a new shrine. So, first things first, let's just go get this. Oh, hi there, buddy. Are you, do you really want to pick a fight with me? Do you really want, you really want to pick this fight? You're just doing what you're programmed to do. I understand that, but because of that, you're never going to fly again. You're still flying. Yeah, you better run. Okay, there's the bridge. No, 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 wait. There's the bridge. What is that purple? Oh, it's just like a bush. Okay, so this is the bridge he was on. I don't see him anymore, but... Oh, no, there he is. This is Trello. Yeah, so... Underneath this bridge? Oh, sure enough, there it is. Um... Okay. We're gonna have to... Can't reach it, so let's just get a little closer. Some kind of fish there as well. I'm not worried about the fish. Okay. Got the weapon. Kind of. Uh, okay, let's just put it over here. We were just using one of these. Okay. We got the trident. Let's read the quest again. A gift from the sky, a scale of light, splits the feet of a veiled falls site. So where's the veiled falls? There's waterfalls all around here, so it's actually kind of hard to know which one it is. Oh, there it is. There's literally a marker right on it. Okay. Um, okay. Veiled falls. Let's go do it. Right, get get down, Link. Stop it. We do need to get up, though. Um, let's let's use Ravali's Gale. Love having these fast recharge times. And we should be able to just climb up here. Love that about Zelda. Just climbing any. Sur whoa! What? <laughs> what? Don't love the control sometimes, though. Okay, so Veiled Falls. There they are, right there. I can see the waterfall. Let's just climb this cliff real quick. Link, you... I swear, he was about to jump off. Okay. Don't need to use Revali's scale right here. We can just 
Oh boy, that's close. Woo. Okay, so here's the Veiled Falls. I see some enemies. Uh, let's take out the enemies real quick. Wait, you guys see that? So that's what I have to hit with. Okay. Now, do I have to do it at a certain time of day? Or is it any time? Let's see. Okay, it doesn't say any time of day, so... Um, Okay. <laughs> Let's uh grab that loot. Wait, what bows do I have? I guess I don't I don't really care about my weapons anymore. I have so many good weapons and, and armor and everything. But there's a chest. Oh, a silver longsword. That's actually what I wanted. I'd rather have that than the spear. This is actually kind of hard to find. Oh, never mind. When they say long sword, they mean great sword. Okay, got it. Two different things. Let's go up. And let's see if my theory's right that we have to jump off and do the uh, the attack. Hopefully it won't kill us. This looks pretty high up now that I'm now that I'm up here. <laughs> uh Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. Well, YOLO, right? Oh, wait. Helps if I have this. Come on, baby, hit it. it is my Gosh dang it. I died for that and it didn't even work. Let's try again. I don't think I hit it right. You got to hit it like right on. Maybe I, maybe I pulled out the weapon a little too fast. Let's read the quest. I don't know, man. It just says to do it. All right. Come on. Gosh, that's hard to do because he jumps forward. It's kind of like annoying. I'm going to have to wait until the last moment. And Mifa is done healing me. Like, I'm not going to be healed again. You know what I could do is just save, like, right before. Yeah, I'm probably just going <laughs> to. Uh, let's just uh, do a quick save. That way we can load, if need be. There we go. Hopefully my recording works, otherwise I'm screwed. Okay, here we go. Gonna hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Bro! Okay, maybe instead of... um. Instead of jumping off, I'm just going to walk off. If I walk off of the waterfall, maybe I won't go so far forward. Because I'm just going too far forward over and over and over. Are you kidding me? I saved up top. This game hates me. And it respawned the lizards. Of course it did. Okay. Terrible save. Terrible save. Just wasted time, literally. At least the lizards are still dead. Okay, fine. I'm just going to walk off. There it is. That was perfect. What are you talking about? A scale of light splits the feet. Alright, we're gonna try this um, one more time. The only thing I can think of is maybe, you know, it's a Zora ceremony. So maybe I have to be wearing full Zora armor. I'm not actually wearing the helmet. I don't know. Let's try. Um, I'm also going to try a new technique where... This time, instead of jumping, I'm actually... I'm going to jump off. I'm going to glide down and 
go... Boom. Did that work? Oh my goodness. So maybe you just have to wear the full Zora armor. Oh, there's Fang and Bone. Let's actually go check that out. Sweet. I don't know if you have to wear the full Zora armor or if you just... Like, I wasn't using my paraglider. I was making it harder than it needed to be. But honestly, it should be hard. I thought that's what the whole point of the challenge was. It's weird seeing a normal shrine and not like the super tall one anymore. I've only seen the super tall one for so long. All right. Grab some of these sneaky snails. Uh, let's go talk to the Fang and Bone dude. It's actually been a long time since we've done that. And even though the episode is like pushing 30 minutes, I still want to explore Mount Floria a little bit. Because um, honestly, the last few episodes, I, I feel a little bit sentimental and sad that we're finishing this game. And I, I'm, I'm not like wanting to end. The smell. Is it a choo-choo perhaps? Or perhaps, ah! Oh, it's just you. Good evening, can I help you with anything? Uh, spend some on. What do you got? Wow. Ooh, the dark set's pretty cool. 2,000 mon? Two, three, four. So I need 4,000 to get the full dark link. That's a lot of mon. How do I get mon? Let's see. 4,000 I need. Those will only give me 60? Bro, you are absolutely insane on your prices. Okay, actually, I, I can exchange a lot of these. I could, I probably could get the 3,000, actually. Eh, oh well. I don't really... I'm not that worried about it. Creepy music. Alright, so we're done with that. We're done with that. We're done with that. Um... We're going to a colder climate just for a little excursion. Guys? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to do the shrine first. I almost left without doing the shrine after all that. All right, let's see what the shrine is. I'm going to guess it's just like a, a blessing or whatever where you just get the free, like, orb without having to really do anything. Because... Honestly, I literally died doing this challenge, jumping off the waterfall. Mifa had to save me. Luckily, we have Mifa's Grace Plus now, so she'll respawn super fast. It's like having infinite fairies. All right, what do we got? Yeah, it's just a blessing. Sweet. Haven't had one of these in a while, so. All right, 100 rupees. We'll take it. And another spirit orb. We'll take that as well. How, how many do I got? Actually, we should go... We should go spend our spirit orbs. Get some more heart pieces. Perfect. I got eight. We get two more hearts. Um, Let's go do that real quick. Because I'm... I, you know I'm going to forget before like we do anything else. I'm going to finish the entire game and forget to spend those spirit orb points. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, it's going to take forever to load, but once it finishes, I'm going to go to Zora's domain, upgrade my hearts real quick, because I know where to do that. Another warp. And we're back. This might be the last time I ever come here, so. Kind of sad. But, uh, yo, Sidon, I just saw you as a kid, actually. Link, I must thank you for journeying all this way, and of course, for taming that feisty divine beast, Varuta. You somehow overcame the objections of the, all <laughs> of the old geezers on our council, all to help save our home. Yes, you're a treasure of a Hylian taking time out of your journey to come to our rain and monster ridden home and here you activated the I hear you and here you activated those orbs with shock arrows freed Ruta and released my sister from the her lingering regret huh. Link I simply cannot thank you enough Zora's mm -hmm. domain would still be in peril if not for you you're welcome anytime when we are ever at your huh. service 
Have I mentioned how incredible you are and how thankful I am? <laughs> because you are, and I am. Yes, you are the greatest of aliens and my most treasured friend of all time. <coughs> Remember that when you're king. <sighs> no, I'm, I'm actually just, yeah. Just, uh, just chilling. Just hanging out. Um, let's go upstairs real quick. I believe that is where the statue is where we can upgrade our hearts. Heart container. Thank you. Can I just get two? Buy one, get one free. We're going to need every heart we can get. Yep, do another one. Oh, wow, no cutscene for that? Okay. Thank you, thank you. That's all I needed. All right, guys. We're we're going... Wow, we're, this might as well be an hour episode, but whatever. Um, let's actually head... Look at this place. Um, how do you even get there? Like it's on a it's on a cliff. It's on a it's a mountain. I guess the closest one is here, and you can see I've been there, but we didn't like go up the mountain. So let's head there. We're gonna conquer that mountain before I end this video. If it's the last thing I do, I don't even care. We're doing it. I know the video time is kind of long, but you guys don't mind, right? You want me to go conquer that mountain, right? You don't want me to end the episode. Let's go conquer that mountain and uh, see what's up there. Since we're out and adventuring, I, I just want to adventure, guys. It's been a while since we could just adventure. We've been doing challenges, trials, trials, challenges, bosses over and over and over. I just want to chill and adventure. It is middle of the night, so sorry if it looks a little dark right now. It's just how it is. All right, so let's set a marker near there. The green the green marker. That's where we're going. Wolf Link, where are you going? Oh my goodness, he just hauled over the... Where are you going? Okay. You don't like that, that ram or whatever? Oh, dang. Well, we better not let that meat go to waste. Cookie, will you get down here? Stop... Cookie getting stuck on the mountain. <laughs> Alright, I don't know, man. This place looks like a good place for a Hinox. Is what it looks like to me. Not sure. Oh, yeah. I almost guarantee there's a big boy up there. Oh, yeah. We've already fought him, though. There's a ton of little dudes, too. I know we fought him because the hero's path showed that we did. Okay, guys. All right, Cookie. I'm going to have to leave you here so we can jump across the Courage Step. Why is it called Courage Step? And why is there just a lake over there? Bet you there's something over there, guys. Is there a Lionel down there? Oh, my gosh. We haven't fought one in a while. I almost guarantee there is. Let's just fly down here and see what's going on. I don't really want to fight a Lionel, but... I guess not. There's nothing down here. See? It? But this place is interesting. Really, guys? I guess I don't really need to be using this weapon. Let's use this, the... Uh, my big old Zora sword. Oh, there you are, Wolfie. Just gonna explore a little bit. Like, what is what is this tree? What is this? It's gotta be a Korok seed at, at the very least, right? Hey, give me that bass. Where'd he go? Give me. Hey. Worst way to catch fish. All right. Ooh, that's a bug. Wolf link, do not mess this up. That's a big beetle. 
Ooh, a rugged rhino beetle. That's got to be rare. Alright, what's going on here? Um, I guess we just need an apple. Got plenty of those. Told you there'd be something on this island. Thank you. I really should go to uh, Sestu as well. So I can upgrade like my weapon stash or something. Um, Alright, yep, let's just keep going. We're done with courage step. Nothing there except a Korok. I thought for sure there'd be like a Lionel or something. Oh well. Wolf, can you please get like out of my direct path? Let's see. We we are actually not that far from the peak. Look at that. It's like tropical jungle. And then over here is completely different climate on the other side of the mountains. That's actually realistic though. Mountains really do make separate climates. Oh wow, there's a shrine right there we could have went to. Wait, is that this one? Wow, I guess that one was closer. It didn't look closer on the map, but I guess it was. But yeah, this is like one of my favorite regions in the game and you actually barely even have to come over here. Which is why I wanted to, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that dragon doing? He just went in the water? Wow. See what I mean? Like, if you just explore, you will see some crazy stuff in this game. What? Where did he go? He came back out! Dude. Oh, we're going to check out that lake. What if he put treasure in there? Mifa's grace is ready. <laughs> he just keep going in that... Actually, I just realized I want to shoot him and get like a scale or something. Sorry, dragon. Uh-oh. Are we even going to have time? Oh, come on, come on. We got it. We got it. There it is. That's really far, but we can swim up this waterfall. No problem. Ferocious scale. Epic. What's going on here? Dang it. There's something under there. I think it's just ore, but I want to get it. Link, you want to go fight that wizard over there? That Poe? Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? That was like a fully charged stasis and it still didn't work. Uh, hit it, Link? Are you kidding me? Okay, you know what? I don't even care. Keep your ore. <laughs> uh, I don't want to drown. Let's, let's get over here. Oh. What am I shooting at? Oh, I got to get up there. Okay, let's actually restart, restart, restart. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Also, look at this. What do we got? Probably just like rupees. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the other one. I was wondering where the where that went. 
Uh, we'll get, we're gonna get the chest for sure. Uh, push it over a little bit. Get some more ice arrows. Ah, wow, just an amber. All right, let's do this. Um, actually, you know what? Since it's kind of far. We're not going to probably make it in time unless we do this. Let's create the path beforehand so that we can just like jump over there. You know what I mean? All right. Now, actually, I just realized you got to be wearing Zora armor to swim up waterfalls. Let's just do all of it. Oh my goodness. Restart. Restart the timer. This is okay. <laughs> Easy. We're going up that mountain, baby. Oh, wow. It looks like it's getting closer and farther away at the same time. All that for a Korok. The more you explore, the more you will just find tons of Koroks. No! No! The stupid cutscene! Oh, my gosh. I somehow climbed on, or grabbed on. Can I get up? Okay, you know what? Oh, why am I? Oh, wait. Wait! What? We just found a secret shrine! Bro! Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. I swear I had no idea there was a shrine in there and I didn't even think to like look. Uh, I knew we were going to come to this mountain and find some cool stuff. Oh wow. Impeccable timing. I don't think I've ever done this shrine before in my life. Alright let's see. So we got a bunch of uh, shots here. Looks like we're going to play pinball so. Alright. Let's uh. All right. All right. This is cool. I think I can perfect it like every time. So I don't actually know where, when I'm supposed to shoot it, but. Oh, I guess. To get the treasure chest. <laughs> so awesome <laughs> oh you actually do need to get that treasure chest all right so we got the key which will open the next door right wow we did those first try what happens if you miss you only get like four or five shots and that's it <laughs> maybe if you like walk out of the sh wait that's it wait 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 where's the sh wait there's got to be another chest Hold up. Hold up. There's got to be more going on here, guys. Let's let's search. If if that was the only chest. Uh, over here. Ah. Uh, I must not have even seen this one when it came. All right. Five eggs. So it must have shot over here and I didn't even notice it. Wow. Feels bad. All right. Well. That was actually a super easy shrine. But fun at the same time. I mean, I shouldn't say easy. It does take a little bit of skill, but it was super short. I wish there was more shots you had to do than just those two. But it was cool. So the one on the right is optional, and the one on the left you have to do. Gotcha. All right, guys. Well, another spirit orb, another shrine down. I w you know what? It's just funny because I was so upset. A little. Well, I wasn't so bad. I was a little bit of upset when we fell back down the waterfall but look what happened i got to experience a new shrine completely on accident because of it so man just another reason why this game is just so masterful it's just there's always some amazing things that happen you just can never even plan um all right cool cool but i'm gonna turn that back off and this time let's uh swim up the waterfall for real 
I just want to get to the top of Mount Gloria to say that we've done it. You know what I mean? Just want to do it at least the one time. I know that we're not going to be able to like cover every area in this game before the next one. Oh look, there's something. See, another thing is happening here. There's another puzzle or something. What is this? What is what is going on here? Look at that. Look at all the chests. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of chests in this area. There's so many. There's at least five chests. I've never seen that many in a lake before. Even if it's just like junk, like it's still free. All right, can you... We're gonna get it. I'm guessing I have to like put this rock in inside here. Oh yeah, it's a chain. Cool. Another car. We're just getting so much stuff just by exploring. Just so much stuff. Just loot, Korok seeds, shrines, secrets. Come on, Link. Come on. Bro, look at this. What? Those other two spots might not have anything. I don't know. We'll, we'll check them out in a second. Just push that one off. There we go. Uh, that bow kind of sucks. I'm not. I'm not even gonna keep that one. Not a problem. And that one I will keep. Okay, cool, cool. So, is there anything? Yo, ooh, the big boulder. All right, let's go check out the big boulder real quick. We're getting close to a one hour episode. So I guess the final three episodes of this series will probably all be uh, an hour or more. So this one, I'm guessing we just have to put it over here or... Oh no, there's more chests under it. My goodness. They were just, they were just trapped under there. Not anymore. So what's the chest total now? Seven? Sapphire, okay, okay. Royal halberd with long throw. All right, all right. Um. Uh, anyways, guess you gotta throw that back down off the uh, the waterfall. Um. All right. So I see one more. That one's not. All right. So we're actually gonna. Each one is a little bit unique. Kind of interesting. I can't even... So how do I get this one out if I can't... Oh, there, there it is. That's what I was trying to do. No, no, no. You get out. Get... Out... Of here! <laughs> Whoa, that one went really far. And total chest of nine, I think, in this one area. Amazing. My goodness. Never would have expected this much loot here, but sheesh. Somebody clearly wanted to reward the player who would come over here because really like i said there's no quest making you come over here there's nothing forcing you if you come over here it's purely because you're exploring and i think they really like rewarding rewarding people uh who ex just explore for no reason actual bananas on a banana tree wow 
Wow, you guys see that? That light really far away? It's really cool. Um, all right, let's 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 finish the trek up Mount Floria now that we're at the base of the mountain. Uh, switch to some colder gear and uh, yeah, let's just go. I really want to see what's at the top. Man, we even got a dragon scale, which is really cool. I'm not surprised that that uh, pond had so much stuff, though. I mean, I wonder if the dragon comes out of that pond. All right, let's see. Make our way up. I thought this place would be snowy. It's actually not snowy at all. Like up on the mountain. Well, I'm wearing my my like <laughs> winter gear and it's like summer. No worries though. Alright, we're almost at the top. My, uh, you know what? I might as well just put on like some climbing gear to be honest. I guess it doesn't really matter, but we'll do we'll do the bandana at the very least. We made it. And of course, as usual with exploring, our prize is a Korok. <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. And there goes your hiding spot. Some would argue the reward isn't the Korok seed. The reward is the view. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this extended episode. We've now completed all the champion trials. We have all the powers upgraded. There's still so much that we could explore in this game. It's so sad to be saying goodbye to the, to the world, but... Tears of the Kingdom, guys. It's basically, it looks like the same world, except they added a ton of sky islands. And the world itself is a little bit changed. But So we're basically going to be able to explore it all over again in the next game. And I cannot wait. Um, but the series is not over. We do have to finish this, the Champion's Ballad. That's what we're going to do in the next episode. So hope to see you guys there. It's been an absolute honor and a pleasure to play this game for you. And I really, really, like, appreciate you guys. I really do. If nobody watched, it would make me sad. Not because I want attention or I want viewers. Not at all. I don't. It's not about me. It's, a, it's about this game. And I just want to share with you guys how beautiful... And just amazing this game is. It's so fun. And it's such a great escape from reality. To, to come into Hyrule and just be a hero for a while. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy friends. <laughs>